Hi guys. So short time while I did a countdown to Christmas DIY that I made using two by two wood that I had on hand and I liked it so much. This is my Christmas one. I liked it so much I wanted to do one for Easter because let's face it from Christmas on there's no other great holiday other than Easter. Everything in between Christmas and Easter and there's nothing. So that's my countdown to Christmas sign I made. Let me get that out of the way. I want to do my Easter one. So using the same principle, two by twos, same type of stuff here. Uh, I kind of got this one still rubber band because I wood glued it. And what I did was I just used two by two wood that I had on hand. You can get this for really cheap. It's like two dollars and some change at a lumber store for an eight foot long piece. And I cut it into basically a 12 foot, uh, I'm sorry, 12 inch section and then a 10 inch section. And I stained it, sanded it down, stained it, and then I just wood glued it. That's why I have the rubber bands around here, just to hold that into place. But that wood glue should have set by now. We're going to find out. I didn't want to bore you with going through all the steps by this because like I said, I already did this for a Christmas countdown. You can always go back and watch that video to see kind of step by step how I did it. My stencil thing is screwing up. Okay. Let's get the rubber bands off and let's hope that holds. Alright. So, using your two pieces, like I said, you're going to wood glue that together. I used Gorilla wood glue. That's what I prefer to use. It holds the best on wood projects. Uh, the stain I used was Minwax uh, Golden Oak. Get that out of the way. And just kind of want to show you how this goes on. So I left this bottom piece bare. And all I did was I used a paper towel and use gloves if you don't want to get the stain on your hands. But you just want to kind of dip your paper towel and use a foam brush if you want to use a foam brush. Just going to go over that really lightly. A little bit goes a long way with this stain. Right off, that's all you gotta do. Super simple. That wood glue seems to be holding really good. It's only been on there for a couple, two or three hours, so. Get rid of that. Okay, now on my Christmas one I did, I free handed and <laughs> it didn't turn out the greatest. Not as good as what I would have liked. So what I decided to do on this Easter sign was I used a stencil I got from Walmart and that's what I did the Easter in. And I just used the pencils, you know, followed the stencil and then I used a fine white paint pen, use whatever color you want to use. And I had to do two coats for the Easter. I wanted the Easter to be bigger than the days until. <clears throat> now on the days until, I did bust out my Cricut machine for that. And my Cricut machine is screwing up. For some reason it keeps cutting through not only the vinyl, but the backing to it. And I don't know why it's doing that. It's just, I don't know. If you guys know why a Cricut machine would do that, please leave a comment. Let me know what I can do to fix that because... I sure don't know. So, uh, this is done with vinyl. And I want to smooth that down onto there. Normally I would use a credit card or something to smooth that down, but I, I just don't have one handy. So we're going to use my fingers. We're going to hope that's going to stick.
And use whatever colors you guys want to use on this for the paint job. If you want to just freehand using paint pens, do that too. Um, different color vinyl. You know, you can paint these. You don't have to stain it. I'm just kind of going with a little bit more natural feel for this one. So there's what you're going to have once you get done. All right. Now along with this <coughs> is with that 2x2, two two, you're going to need to cut three pieces of blocks. Where's my other block? Three pieces of blocks at one inch length. Because a 2x2 two two, two is only one and a half inches. I don't know why they call it a 2x2 two two when it's only one and a half by one and a half. But you're going to need three pieces of that. And like I said, cut it one and a half inches. And then you can freehand that with some paint pens too, like I did on my Christmas countdown. But on this one, I wanted to go, I don't know, a little bit more fancier, I guess. So I picked up this from Walmart, these sticker letters and numbers. And I can't remember how much it costs, but you get a whole bunch of those for a pretty decent price. And you're going to need three blocks. You're going to need two that says one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to need one that is seven, eight, nine, and zero to do this. So this is my 79, zero. So I got to put a six on there. Now, one thing I did find is with these stickers, they don't stick to the wood very good. Uh, I don't know whether it's the wood or it's the stain on there that's not making them stick good. So you're going to want to get some Mod Podge and put just a thin coat of that or glue. Glue will work on this too. You don't have to use Mod Podge. You can use some Elmer's glue. But if you do it, you want to cover the whole block so it gives it a nice little shiny coat. You just want to thin coat of that. That's going to dry clear. And then we'll put our six on there from our sticky sheet. And if you don't want to throw down the money for this, like I said, just, you know, freehand it with some paint markers. Whatever you got on hand will work. But these cheap stickers from Walmart will not stick onto that wood unless you glue it down. Just ain't gonna happen. And you want to center these as best as what you can. Ah. That mod, mod podge is gonna take a, only a short time to Sit down. I'm going to put a little bit more over the top because that's going to dry clear. All right. So you definitely want some glue and Mod Podge if you're going to do this. Like I said, unless you want to freehand it with some paint pens or just paint it on using some stencils and put the numbers on there. You can do either way. <coughs> so when you get done with your numbers, these are just going to sit freely upon your sign and we're way far out from Easter so this will not go up until you know, about a month before Easter but those are the little blocks you're going to need for your countdown Set that aside to dry. so then decorate this however you want to decorate it I went ahead and picked up some of these uh, little twine carrots from the Dollar Tree and I had these left over from last year from the Dollar Tree. No, I'm sorry, Walmart. These were Walmart. They're pens. Um, and I got these on clearance after Easter. And I want to say they were like 10 cents a piece. I got a whole bunch of them. And what you want to do is take that pen part out. And you're going to need some dikes or scissors to cut that plastic cap off. Like what I did here. So you're going to need that. You're going to need, because for some reason these things don't come with eyeballs. I don't know why they didn't put eyeballs on these little bunny heads. So you're going to need some little googly eyes. You can get these 
uh, from the Dollar Tree, 125 pieces in a pack. And there you go, 125 pieces. <coughs> Various size googly eyes. You're going to need some hot glue. And we're going to put the little eyeballs on our bunny. As bust as what we can. It's kind of difficult because it's kind of furry. Straighten out his little heart shaped nose. Okay. You don't have to put the eyeballs on him, but I don't know. To me, it just kind of seems weird not having eyeballs on a bunny. Get up there. Oh. See, that looks so much better when you put the eyeballs on them. Okay, so. <coughs> your letters would be, or I'm sorry, not your letters, your numbers would be centered. Uh, now, let's say it's, uh, let's say it's 27 days out from Easter. Kind of center where you're going to have your blocks at. Going to center, it ain't got to be perfect. And we're going to, I think, just tack that bunny head right down onto there using hot glue. Whole bunch of hot glue. Okay. Let's sit for a second. I don't know why I'm whispering. I don't know why I'm whispering. All right, that better stay. <clears throat> then we're going to bust out those little orange twine carrot things. And I think, I think I'm just going to kind of hot glue couple of those down onto there. Alright. Let's give that a shot. This guy looks so cute. <laughs> if it turns out the way I have it in my head, it's going to turn out cute. If everything sticks the way it should, it's going to turn out cute. We're gonna see. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Okay, all right. Get a grip, Jill. Um, I also got these foam eggs from the Dollar Tree. I don't know. They come in a huge pack. I don't even know how much is in them. But these are left over from last year. My little stash of stuff I got from... Dollar Tree last year. But the foam eggs will hold really good and we're just going to pull that little ribbon out of there. We don't need that little ribbon dangly thing on there. And I think what we're going to do don't want another carrot over here instead. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, I want another carrot over there. <laughs> the carrots are cute. I love these things. Okay. Let's put another carrot over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so much fun to do. So much fun. And you know, if you have kids... You can get them involved in this, too. You don't have to do everything with the cricket or the stencils. You know, you can have your kids just write days until Easter on it. And then let them glue these suckers on to here, whatever decorations they want to put on them, and just really personalize it. You know, it'll be something that, you know, you can bust out every Easter and 
and I'll say, hey, my kids did this. Kind of have some good childhood memories. <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Now, I I'm, I'm just want to say, on some of the tops of these blocks, the numbers are going to be showing, but if you put this on your shelf or someplace up high, nobody's going to see these numbers at the top. Even if it's down low, nobody's going to care because it's going to be focused on the front part of it. So you know, don't worry if you see these little numbers on the top. It ain't going to matter. Nobody cares. <clears throat> I do want to use these foam eggs. And I chose the orange for the, you know, kind of match the carrots, and the pink kind of kind of matches the bunny. Um... You know what I think I want to do? We're going to put two of these eggs up here. That's what we're going to do. The sock glue sticks to this foam really good. So let's put one egg. There. And then we're going to do an orange one just to kind of tie in with the orange of the carrots. Ooh. We're going to do it like that. <laughs> God, I feel like a little kid again or something. I mean, this is just... This really... If you do something like this, simple little things, and decorate it with little stuff like this that's, you know, cheapo, it just kind of brings out that kid in you. All right. I love that so much. I can't even begin to tell you how much I love that. So. <laughs> Let me make sure my D is staying on there. Okay. So using simple things you have around your house, your Mod Podge, some glue. Doesn't have to be wood glue. It can be any kind of glue you want. You don't have to stain it. You can paint it using acrylics. Whatever. Um. You can use paint pens instead of, you know, if you don't have a Cricut machine. And any little things that you get from the Dollar Tree. And you can make something really super cute. Unfortunately, I can't display this until like, you know, 30 days out from Easter. Because, you know, we're like I don't know, two months out from Easter. <laughs> but, but I'm ready to break this bad boy out in a couple months. So... Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight, watching this great little craft to do, and listening to me drop all my stuff, and uh, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.